In this video, we'll be taking a look at two WNBA games happening on July 1, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two WNBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Connecticut Sun vs. Phoenix Mercury The WNBA action continues as we move into July, featuring a matchup between the Connecticut Sun and the Phoenix Mercury. The Connecticut Sun recently secured a narrow four-point victory at home against the Atlanta Dream. On the other hand, the Phoenix Mercury are coming off back-to-back -back games, most recently facing the Indiana Fever on Sunday, where they fell short with an 88-82 loss. These teams have already clashed once this season, with the Sun emerging victorious by a significant 23-point mark margin at home. The Connecticut Sun are considered one of the top teams in the WNBA, but they have experienced a rough patch recently, losing three out of their last four games leading into this matchup. Their defeats included road losses to the Aces and the Storm, and a home loss to the Dream. Their lone victory in this stretch was an away win against the Washington Mystics, who currently occupy the lower end of the East Division standings. Connecticut's offense ranks ninth in the 12-team league, averaging 80 points per game. However, they boast the league's best defense, allowing just 73 three points per game. Although the Sun rank 11th in the league for three-pointers made per game, they are fourth in field goal percentage, shooting 43.8% from the field. In their last game, the Phoenix Mercury had a 15-point lead over the Indiana Fever but ultimately squandered it, losing 88-82 on Sunday. Caitlin Clark contributed 15 points and 12 assists in the effort, but the Mercury were outscored 29-15 in the third quarter. The Mercury ranked fifth in the league in scoring, averaging 82 points per game, while their defense defense is ninth, conceding 84 points per game. They are fifth in the league for three-pointers made per game with 9.5 triples but have a three-point shooting percentage of only 33.3%. Defensively, both teams have been performing decently as of late, though there is a noticeable gap. The Sun have allowed an average of 80.3 points in their last three games, whereas the Mercury have given up 85 points over their previous five games. Throughout the season, the net ratings also highlight a difference, with Connecticut holding a plus 8.6 net rating, while Phoenix has a minus 3.4 net rating. You can argue in favor of either team, as the Phoenix Mercury have been strong since Griner's return and will be eager to bounce back from their recent loss to the fever. Meanwhile, the Connecticut Sun entered the season as title contenders but have stumbled, losing three of their last four games. The Mercury have covered the spread in nine of their last 13 games as underdogs. Nevertheless, considering the rest advantage, I'm inclined to favor the Sun, who haven't played since Friday, while the Mercury are on a back-to-back. -back. Additionally, the Sun dominated their last meeting in May with a 70-47 win and have triumphed in eight of the last 10 encounters overall. Thus, the Connecticut Sun to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Examining the offensive performances in recent games reveals a disparity. Connecticut is averaging 76 points in their last five games, while Phoenix is scoring 82 points in their previous four games. Both teams excel in defending without fouling. The Sun ranked third in the league, allowing 17 opposing free throw attempts per game, and the Mercury are seventh, permitting 18.2 attempts. Despite being loaded with talent, the Connecticut Sun are only ninth in the league in scoring. This is not due to a lack of talent or scoring ability, as they have four players averaging over 12 points per game. Instead, the Sun play at one of the slowest paces in the league and rely on their strong defense to win close games. They have the best defense in terms of scoring and limit their opponent's possessions due to their pace. Connecticut features multiple physical forwards who will challenge 6-8 to eight Brittany Griner in the paint, one of the toughest players to score against in the league. Given that the Mercury just played the Fever on Saturday, they are likely to show signs of fatigue. This game is expected to be low scoring. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Dallas Wings vs. Seattle Storm The Dallas Wings are set to face the Seattle Storm on the road in a Western Conference showdown at the Climate Pledge Arena on Monday night. 
The Wings currently sit in fifth place in the West, while the Storm hold the second spot in the conference standings. This will be their third meeting out of four games this season, with the Storm having won the first two matchups, including a commanding 97-76 victory at home on Friday. The Dallas Wings have faced significant challenges this season, grappling with injuries and a prolonged losing streak that has left them tied with the Los Angeles Sparks for the bottom position in the Western Conference. However, they managed to snap their losing streak with an upset victory over the Minnesota Lynx on Thursday night, winning 94-88. Unfortunately, their success was short-lived as they suffered a heavy 97-76 defeat to the Storm on Saturday night. Despite Eric Ogunboel leading the team with 24 points and an impressive 6-of-1-0 shooting from beyond the arc, Currently, the Wings rank 7th in the WNBA in scoring. They are 5th in field goal shooting but struggle with 3-point shooting, ranking 9th. Additionally, they are 10th in the league in 3-point field goals made per game. On the defensive end, the Wings are 11th in scoring defense, 10th in field goal defense, and 7th in 3-point defense. They also lead the league in turnovers per game but excel in total rebounds, ranking 3rd overall. The Seattle Storm have capitalized on the Wings' recent misfortunes, particularly their 11-game losing streak streak, which included a victory over the Minnesota Lynx. This loss for the Lynx allowed the Storm to close the gap to just two games behind the Commissioner's Cup winning team. Seattle entered this brief two-game series with the Wings after securing a 12-point win over the Indiana Fever at home on Thursday. In their Saturday matchup against the Lynx, the Storm dominated with a 97-76 win, highlighted by an impressive 2-8 of 3-0 performance from the free-throw line. Seattle is actively chasing the top spot in the Western Conference, currently held by the Lynx. The Storm are fourth in the WNBA in scoring this season. They rank sixth in field goal shooting but struggle from beyond the arc, sitting at 11th in three-point shooting and eighth in three-point field goals made per game. Defensively, the Storm are strong, ranking fourth in scoring defense, third in field goal defense, and fifth in three-point defense. They lead the league in total rebounds per game and are fifth in fewest turnovers. The Wings managed a significant upset over the Lynx this week, but it appears more as a slip-up for Minnesota rather other than a testament to Dallas's quality. The Storm are playing better basketball and come into this two-game set much healthier than Dallas. Seattle already secured an eight-point win earlier this season against the Wings in Dallas. Defensively, the Storm are far superior, ranking third in field goal defense and fourth in scoring defense. While the Wings are excellent at rebounding, the Storm are the best rebounding team in the league. Seattle will also benefit from the Wings' sloppy play, as Dallas ranks last in the league in turnovers. The Seattle Storm have consistently demonstrated their dominance and are expected to continue doing so, given their statistical superiority over the Dallas Wings. There is a considerable disparity between the two teams throughout the season, as evidenced by their recent game results. The Wings are 7-11 against the spread so far, while the Storm boasts a 12-6 record against the spread. Seattle remains healthy, while Dallas struggles with injuries to key players, including forwards Matty Segrist and Sadu Savoli, and guard Jalen Brown. Defensively, the gap between these teams is evident, with Dallas allowing an average of 92 points in their last three games compared to Seattle's 77 points. The betting lines are steep, but there's little reason to consider the wings. Dallas has lost 11 of their last 12 games and is 2-8 against the spread in their last 10 games. They recently suffered a 21-point defeat to the Storm on Saturday. Meanwhile, the Storm have been dominant at home and are a profitable 12 to 6 against the spread for the season. Additionally, Seattle is 6 to 0 against the spread in their last 6 games as double digit favorites. Therefore, the Seattle Storm to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Storm have surpassed the total in five of their last six games leading into this two-game series against the Wings. The only game that went under the total was against Connecticut, the top team in the WNBA in scoring defense. The Storm have scored 87 or more points in five of those six games. During their 11-game losing streak, the Wings allowed 87 or more points seven times, including six games where they conceded over 90 points. Hence, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.